Hey guys, I am back today with three plates from Lantern and Run. These are from her, I'm going to call it her City Life series. So we've got City Life, City Life 2, and City Life 3. This one came out a while ago. These two are a little bit newer. Um, so let's go through plate by plate and take a look. I love all of the graffiti kind of things that she's got going on here. Um, this looks like, this looks like very Miami, very 1980s. You could use that for too. So I've done manicures with this where I've combined the bricks with the graffiti. I love it and I will um, show those to you. A little bit more graffiti there. Um, she's got the subway or um, the escalators. I always think of the subway. Love these birds flying around, you know, because you always get a lot of pigeons and things, right, in the cities. Very cool, very urban-y kind of collage that looks like it could be some graffiti or art that's done in, you know, some sort of traffic plaza. A little pigeon that you can layer there, school buses and things like that. Um, love the Statue of Liberty. We've got pizzas and food and all kinds of stuff and a cute little um, lamp. This is a great, this is great for background. This is great. It's got this kind of gradated look so you can use it for a bunch of different things. Mix it and match it with this with the with the circles and the, and the sort of gradation there. Another little, this one's a more whimsical kind of a collage here with you know like little city street life. People walking along to work. Love the Statue of Liberty. Fire hydrants, of course, you need a little dog somewhere in here with that. Anyway, um, love the little lotus lily because, right, you got to remember to be zen. Um, some nice wings, and then another more of a kind of a urban graffiti style of a collage here, which I love with the Statue of Liberty right in the middle, but like um, the apple with the glasses. So, I mean, it, there's definitely like with the big apple kind of stuff and the and with the Statue of Liberty, this is definitely very New York-y, but you could also pull stuff from other areas and if you don't want to highlight New York, if you want to use it for something else. Um, she gives you three little skylines here and this is something that is going to occur on all of the plates. So we've got New York, Miami, Atlanta, and these are very, very much silhouette so they're kind of block silhouettes so if you want to do like a beautiful sunset with your city in black or in silver this is going to be a really super great way to do that another pigeon love it love the skateboarder all right so let's take a look at city life 2 and you'll notice that she's changed her plates now she doesn't have the white backing so that's a little bit different um, this again just great kind of background a little bit of whimsy and I think that that does mix and match beautifully with this one here. So I like that she's giving you things on these various plates that you can mix around with and play around with. So this could be pretty much anything you want it to be. I see more birds there. Um, and you got some storefronts and some towers so you can do another. Um, this is sort of like halfway between the realistic and the whimsical. I love that. Um, is this a hacky sack guy or a skateboarder? Some purses for shopping of course shopping out and uh, whatever. Got some gears, got some weather. For different kinds of weather and and some um, popcorn and stuff or going to see the movies uh, uh the treads like um the metal sidewalky kind of tread things i love that how cool is this one of my favorite things ever with the hearts with the with the skyline around it i think that is super super cool and would be great to mix and match in along with your different skylines that you're going to see down here and then here's another little whimsical <laughs> stacked houses i love that that goes with that one and then with the other one that i showed you um Cafe stuff, watch. Um, I guess this is a guy picking up trash, which you see by the highways here all the time. Passports and hot air balloons. I love these really simple, cute trees and um, hills in the background. So if you want to do a, a, a cute little easy manicure with those. Um, on this plate, her skylines are of Berlin, Barcelona, New York. And I love that with the Statue of Liberty um, there. So it, you'll notice that this is a little bit different from the kinds that she had on the other one, which are more blocky and more silhouette -y. So these give you a little bit more detail. So it's depending on um, the look that you're going for. And here are Rome. So you got all of, all of the different, you know, all of the important monuments in the kinds of things. Um, Tower Bridge. I don't, I feel like I should know this. I feel like this is Australia um, and I feel really bad about my geography right now. So please Australians, if I'm right or if I'm wrong, correct me. Um, and I apologize if I'm wrong about that. Love the street, which you can get. You could get the small part on your nail. You could get the wide part on your nail, however you want to do that. And then we've got, um, love this, the lampposts, the street lights, and then you've got the um, Leaning Tower of Pisa and you've got, you know, Moscow. Uh, so different little fun things that you can do there. People <laughs> hanging out, reading, um, you got your luggage, you got your pulling your luggage, um, sitting on your back, your stacks of luggage. Uh, another more kind of whimsical uh, over full nail design there. 
um, and then this one with all your different signs so this would match really well go really well with like your roads and that kind of thing um, and then you've got your your opposite your um, mirror not mirror image your um, carbon image of this one up here so you can mix and match with that and play around with the different colors and stuff and then you've got treads for like motorcycles and things like that that you can play around with and this I love because this to me looks like a beautiful little like Parisian street where you can sit and have a little coffee although it could be pretty much like it could be all kinds of cities but I just love it so lots of different monuments to play around with there all right all right so city life three we've got this map We've got this collage of all of the different high-rise high buildings, which I think is super cool. We've got um, your little clover leaf for getting off your highways, and then the look up the buildings. So you can could mix and match all kinds of stuff like that. You could mix and match this, like with on the other one with the um, with the road. You could do a whole like road car thing. Love this with like the stands for the street meet or whatever. You can do a little lovers in the park and you've got more people kind of waiting and having luggage. Um, very whimsical look that goes along with, so like you could have this on one nail and have that go along with like this on a different nail. You could build a manicure like that. Um, more little streets crossing over if you want to do a traffic based manicure. Um, this to me looks like a manhole cover. But, you know, you could just use that for cool texture or pattern. Same thing with this. It's like, reminds me of a grate over um, different parts of the street. Okay, this I love with the fire escapes. And what I really love that with is on the first plate I showed you with the brick wall. How cool would it be to be able to, like, put that in with a brick wall? Have, like, bricks all over your nails, some graffiti on one, fire escape on the other. That'd be super cool and super fun. Uh, some stop signs, street lamps. There was a full street lamp on the other one. This one has the tops of it, so you can mix and match those. And more, uh, more of your skylines. So some Chicago, Toronto, Rome, which we saw a, a different version of Rome. I think it's a little bit different, or is it? Just, just let me look. Let's see. Uh, it's the yeah. That one has a little bit different in size. So if you wanted to do like the same one on your smaller nail versus your larger nail, that could be cool. But these, the rest of these are new. Um, Paris, Sydney. Is that that bridge that I thought? No, I can't tell. But yeah. Uh, Dubai, Chicago. And I love, look at this. She gave you a Godzilla <laughs> that can stomp over your skylights. How cool is that? I love it. That makes me happy. Uh, um, cool bridges. We've got one down here that I think is my golden gate. So that makes me super happy. Um, another little fun full nail. And this one kind of has layered different levels over it for you, which is cool. So you've got your subway train. You can do that just with Metro. That would be a very cool, like funky manicure. Like in, if you had it in red and then, you know, your base polish is red and then you stamp these in black or, you know, that, that could be really cool and graphic and fun. Um, like I think this is like a landing strip. Uh, so that's kind of cool. And then, oh, I love these little symbols down here. So like thumbs up. I, w I would just wear that just a thumbs up on my nail and nothing else. I think that's fun. Um, drones and planes and all kinds of fun things that you can play around with. Males and females and gun. Well, that's a part of city life. That's just the truth of it. Democrat and Republican. There you go. So you can declare your affiliation if you so desire. Um, so among these, you've got all kinds of different fun, cool things that you can uh, do to give your, your nails a city or urban-y kind of a look. You can mix and match a bunch of them, all kinds of stuff on, on, you know, all of them. All of them are good on their own, but of course, if you have all of them together, you can uh, pull more things out and mix and match and, you know, right? More plates is always better, right? Except for maybe for our, our pocketbooks, but, you know, apart from your wallet, more plates is always better. Um, all right, let me do a few sample looks and I will be right back. All right, let's take a look at the sample looks here. So in this one, um, I just adore how that looks over the, the brick wall. What I would do if I were going to do it over again is I would lead light behind the windows, just um, not lead light. What am I trying to say? Reverse stamp behind the windows just so that it doesn't, you know, you're not seeing the brick behind the windows and that would give it a little bit more of a, you know, of like a solid feel to it. But I think that is just super adorable. 
for whatever reason i'm really in a bold kind of pattern moon right now so i love this and how cool would this be just as an accent nail so like all of your nails are this gorgeous kind of charcoal-y black kind of look uh kind of color and then you do this over one nail how cool would that be but or of course you could just you know you could also just take off the one strip and have that run over all your other nails at at, at like even just a straight angle across but then have this on one nail that would be super cute um, I tried out the map one and um, with one coat it didn't look super mappy. This made it look a little bit more mappy. Um, so I guess it depends on, it's going to depend on the colors you use with this one. But what I will say is even though it doesn't instantly say map to me, what a cool background that is, right? Like seriously, I love how all the texture that you get in that. So again, depending on um, your patterns and you can play around with this edge or not, I think that is gorgeous. Um, oh, by the way, I love that. Um, I told you I love that heart shape. So I did that with, um, this is the New York one and then the heart one in those two nails. Love how that came out. Um, all right, here is, now normally what I would probably do with this is I would most likely let, um, reverse stamp. What is wrong with me? I'd most likely reverse stamp some of these cool buildings or whatever, but I wanted to test it out just, you know, with, um, the sharpness of the stamping and it's gorgeous. And I really actually think that that looks really beautiful, especially if you did, you know, sort of like a gradient. And so you had the street level be one color and then up here you had like a sunset. That could be really, really pretty. I think that that is gorgeous, but of course you could do some reverse stamping and that would be awesome too. Um, back in my little bold thing here. Um, okay. So I did this like, kind of like, um, no, I don't know what you call that. The, the, the things on the sidewalk that have those little, you know, whatever. So the ground covers or whatever. But then I just love the idea of her sitting there like reading a book or checking her cell phone while she's on the, on the, you know, waiting by the side of the road, maybe for a car broke down or something. I think that's super cute and super fun. And then possibly my favorite um, is this little one that I layered using those very, very simple things. Please forgive me. I messed up the, the cloud and had to do it twice. But otherwise you can see this is super simple and super easy. I just did black stamping polish and green stamping polish. And so that's just one swipe and you can see how it's kind of bleeding into the tree trunks, but it doesn't really even show. And then the white and then yellow for that sun. And then I did reverse stamp, um, the balloon. So it would go over, uh, and show up a little bit more boldly, but I love how quick that was. That was quick and fun and it's just a pretty little scene that you can build in no time flat. So there you go. There are some ideas for stuff to do with this. And as you can tell, all of the images stamp really just beautifully. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.